Hello everybody, this is Concrete History Games, and welcome back to part two of my The One Who Brings Benefit campaign here in Crusader Kings 2. So now we are going to get down to business to defeat the Tarids. Uh, first we have a few things we gotta do. For example, let's pick ourselves an ambition. I think getting married would be a very good one. Let's recruit ourselves a court physician. Okay, ruler unmarried. I'm dealing with that right now. Got a couple of titles that can be created. Actually, I think if I take this one... Why can't I see its outline very well? There we go. Okay, so that doesn't really matter, does it? And my other title, I already own all of it, so it's not a big deal either way. And we have some du jour ducal claims up here against the Shahi as well as the Habarai. Uh, which is going to be good. But of course, if I could, if I could defeat the Tarids here, this will be a very big get, um, fight. Now, I was looking into seeing if anybody else had ever done this campaign before, and I don't think I was able to. Yeah, I wasn't able to find any when I first was looking a couple of months ago. And I thought, <laughs> but apparently, back when like Horse Lords first came out, because you start in a war, you do have some spawned uh, troops. You used to spawn, according to one person I heard, with six thousand boy those were the days huh but I think uh, we'll be able to pull this one off first let's take a look at my vassals here okay what's this guy's problem short reign half brother there's not really gonna be able to be much I, there's not gonna be much I could do to make that guy uh, like me more but let's still spread out the honorary titles a bit All right, what can we? You know, court calligrapher or something. Yeah, I don't know. I just like to spread it out, get those few couple of extra troops wherever I can. Whoa! No! 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 Court calligrapher. All right, and we gotta choose a focus. I wanna. It's probably gonna be war, isn't it? We're gonna be at war an awful lot with this guy. So that's what we're gonna go with. Personal combat skill, he's got 33 right now, not too bad. Definitely could be better though. And let's try to arrange a marriage. Let's sort this by religion. Uh, okay, so we have the Manichaeans here. Uh, a Manichaean, although she's only 10 years old. So perhaps not the best path to go. Who is her liege? The Chiguli clan. Where is this? So, oh my goodness. Right up here, this is where they are. On the other side of the Seminids. The only, it seems to be the only place where the, uh, this heresy of Zoroastrianism exists, which is interesting. That could be very interesting because we could turn it into the mainstream. And I don't think there's any Zoroastrian women who would be down. So, we do already have an heir. I'm actually going to set this up. It's just, we got to wait six years before she'll be able to come over. It's going to be, oh wait, no, it looks like, uh, yeah, there's a few of them up here too. Anybody in the family I can marry? No. So it's not really relevant, but could be interesting, could be interesting. I Would I be able to do the achievement with a heretical, in it, if I did that, basically? Be, could be interesting. Alright, we have some du jour ducal claims. Already looked at that. And a couple of minor titles that are grantable. Oh, yeah, uh, auto assigned commanders. Now, how big is their army? They've got about a thousand men. Let's see if, at least for while I organize this, I can get away with just this size army. Oh no, that's more than a thousand. Never mind. We'll have to bring in the big guns, but we certainly have him outnumbered. So let's try to get these thousand. Actually, let's get them right. Let's get them right here. Try to cut off the southern reinforcements. And we are big time crossing our fingers that the Abbasids don't come for us just yet. You were told there resides a Maz Mazdan. Oh, perfect. He's Zoroastrian. Uh, and I'll probably talk about Zoroastrian as we periodically go through the campaign, but I'm probably not going to do it too much until we actually convert. 
Anyway, you're told that there resides a Mazdan doctor in a small nearby village. The doctor known in learned circles as Zaak is r rumored to possess texts from the famous school of Gondishapur. Such a learned man would surely be an asset to your court. How's his learning? 17? Yeah. Let's get him. And we got that betrothal arranged. We can always break that if something better comes to the table, although I don't think that's going to happen. Uh-oh! Slow it down here. One of my commanders just improved significantly. I don't think... Are these 900 going to get here in time? Are they going to be able to reinforce in time? Yes, indeed. Okay. Good first battle. Woo. Well, considering, you know, we didn't have any commanders in charge. Oops. Okay. Let's make this... Make sure this is set up properly. Whoops. I was unpaused there. My bad. Yeah, we definitely need to slow this down. All right. So the goal here is, of course, we have to destroy their armies before anything. Come on, Yakweb. Luckily, we have a good, solid 27 on the, the modifier. Very, very good indeed. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna take it to the army one more time. We gotta chase them down. After that, we'll start uh, besieging areas. There we go. My studies and training have taught me the general tactics of flanks and center, but I can hardly master everything. Uh, okay, so we could do direct leader. It's probably for the best. Although, terrain master. I think there's like some gamey shit you could do with narrow flank. I don't encourage that behavior. Impredictability could be good. But, we're going to always have him in the center. And yeah, I know there's always that chance he could die, but... He's got to, he's just got to survive, plain and simple. Which he's just going to have to not die. That's how we're going to say it. Okay, we're going to keep half of you down here to cut off any potential reinforcements from the north. Then they'd have to go through our own land. Oh, shoot! Uh-oh, can my guys get here in time? They're the ones who have the advantage also. Oh, uh, are we going to break them? No, no, we just were defeated. And we took 500 extra cat and additional... 500 casualties. Damn, that's what I get for splitting them too early. I'm in too much of a rush. I still haven't chosen the Chief Quadi. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, see, we won the follow-up battle. So, that was uh, a bit of a mistake on my part. And then there's about 760 over there. There's, they're going to have some reinforcements coming in from the north. So, let's besiege and take this area. Then we're going to head north and take their actual capital. We're at 39%. How badly did that hurt me? Minus 26.6%. And he's still control Persia. <sighs> How frustrating. Alright. We have some minor tiles that are grabbing to bowl. I might make my half-brother Regent. That should help his opinion of me quite a bit. Alright, at least now they're not going to get the ticking war score for uh, being in control of Persia. So we only want the top holding here. Now we're going to head north and actually take the good stuff. And of course we're keeping their armies from getting too organized. We're still breaking them apart. The casualty difference is not that great though. Even though we, we make them retreat, it's actually not that helpful. Oh, were they at war with somebody else? They're defending against the Dulafid Emirate. And there is a Gurgan Holy War for Khorasan. So this guy is also attacking them. All right, well, that's good. All these people should be helping keep them busy, keep them occupied. Let's take this center area here. Oh, this guy wants to be a marshal. Is he really that much better? He's a little better, sure. That reminds me, did I assign all these positions? No, I did not. Uh, let's work on that then. We need to get fabricating some claims. I'm not expecting to form Persia in a generation, but... I've seen wilder things happen, right? Aha! Perfect candidate right here. Gilan. These guys even have any packs? They're attacking somebody for Azerbaijan. I think this is a perfect candidate for me to go fabricate a claim on. Okay, and we're going to collect some taxes. We need to study some technology. Let's go somewhere here into the western world. Relatively western world. And what's the, how's the revolt risk looking in my kingdom? Everything's pretty fine. How's it going in the rest of the world? Well, there's a few hot spots, but I think we're just, we're fine there. And 
I think obviously culture has got to be the way we go, right? I don't want to be converting too many people to Muslim, to being Muslims right now, since that is not going to be a no bueno in uh, in the long term for me. All right, but off to a hot start. Grouping in the north and south. Just steady, steady. They're the ones who gotta make the moves. I can righteously imprison a subject. This is my brother. Why? He's the leader of a plot. To kill me! To kill me? Alright, first off, we're gonna auto stop plots. I don't think he's gonna stop. Or is he just? He's greedy, patient, diligent, humble. He's an Ashira. Gives him more piety. We could try to imprison him, but I don't think that's a very good idea right now. He's trying to kill me, though. Obviously, it's a problem. Let's end this war, and then we're going to tell him to stop it. Marshal Shabazz told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief they would improve the military. Oh yes, military innovations. For sure. Look at that. Jeez, we'd almost we'd almost have it by now if I had uh, if I hadn't lost that battle in that dumb manner. <sighs> but Stefan over here is crumbling. We're in negative prestige. That is definitely not good. Oh, it's because I have fewer than four wives. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a tight one. Oh, goodness. I actually lost more than he did. That was a very bad battle, actually. So maybe we should just stay here and uh, recuperate a little bit. Let's see. Do we have any reinforcements? I sure can't afford any mercenaries. This first war is so crucial. There's so much to gain. But we got a little more income now. We've got bad news. Uh, the revolt risk just went up because of the high taxes. That's just what I needed. Now we're holding a little bit too much. So I should give this to somebody, this mosque. Do you have any claimants here? Can't grant it to her or him. This is him or her. That's her, right? Yeah. Okay, so... It's a, a giant! This character was born a giant. Huh. That's interesting. Who the heck is this? Related to me in any way? Just the daughter of one of my couriers? One of my court? Couriers. Hmm. Four more years to go with my betrothed. Alright, well, let's... Uh, who do we got in my court here? We got a commander. We got a marshal. We got a physician. You know what? Let's give him this. Congratulations, you get the mosque. I don't know why I just clicked include lower titles. There's nothing lower. All right, come on, hang in there. Just, just play defense. Make them come to me. Eighty-eight percent. Shana proposing Shana Sar of the Samanid Shadam and Arezo Mary. So this is one of the courtiers. Isn't he already married? How many how many wives he got? Yep, he's got a couple. Uh sure, dude. Right now, we have to hope that this the siege will win out first. Oh no, they've gotten big. We're gonna have to retreat here at a moment's notice get some reinforcements of our own we're actually getting a profit so if the war goes on long enough I could always just uh, get some mercenaries all right see zero for Cephalus. that was a victory all right 92 over here let's come back and go through my own uh, area it's because a lot of these so-called victories uh, I was actually losing uh, more cat losing I, I lose more forces than they did so it was really really not good Resist my foul impulses. Piety is so important. I'm at negative prestige and piety. Obviously, that's very bad. What can we do? We can 
borrow money from the Jews. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, and then who are some relatively cheap mercenaries? The Tortoise Company. No, let's go cheaper. Maybe the Orchid Band? I think that's going to be the way to go. Alright, move quickly, man. Move quickly. Are we still running a profit? We still are. Oh, this isn't the Silk Road wonderful? <laughs> because if we uh, if we actually take a look at it... Where is that? Yeah. It runs through our land right here in Hormuz. Uh-oh. Don't, don't let him get too close now. Let's come over here. Ah, now this area, there's the river to consider. Hormon, Siraj. We'd have to come up here to Ish, Ishtakar in order to hit them from a direction that there's no river. Come on, come on, come on. Walk a little faster, please. Can we try to do that? And we're still just, we still got them at 89%. Come on, get the other one in position. Okay. Got Yaquib. He should just be automatically be there. Uh, what is this? Righteous imprisonment. In a minute! I'll throw my brother in prison in a minute! Got some other things to worry about here. See, now the terrain is still not favorable. Oh, they got me, but I'm about to get them right back. I'm starting to think Veda might fancy me. One of my courtiers... Wow, that's a cool logo. What is that, fire? It's a green fire. Should I make a move? Yeah, bust a move! Things are going well when suddenly I hear an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning my sword, ready, I see the enemy commander Marzaban Manuch Chihur awkwardly attempting to climb up a dried up tree trunk. I think he's trying to escape the battle, my lord, the sword next to me muses. There you are. I have been itching uh, to fight, or I will let no everyone know of his cowardice. What kind of... Ooh, 24? I'm not that much higher. Actually, I'm at 43. <sighs> I could get some good prestige, right? Let's do it. The sun is beginning to set when I meet with Marzaban Manuchir, my mace ready. After I clums after he clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured hand, but I have rarely seen so much blood. I walk away victorious. That'll give me some prestige, monthly prestige, um, and he'll be very hurt. Dual experience, battlefield experience goes, or I could just kill him straight out. Yeah, let's just kill him. I will show no mercy. Yeah, I gave her a good tumble. I guess like I guess after the battle he went to her tent or something so this increases me a little bit look at that I'm covered in his blood oh it's so sick it's awesome now we're at 93 percent let's take this area back uh, and oh I hold I hold one of them prisoner cool but once I take this back I think that'll be enough no not quite do I have the ticking score going? Not really. Well, we'll just come over here and take Dash to stand. I think, is this the guy I just killed his dad, right? Yeah. Poor kid. How old is he? He's just, he's a little baby and he's in charge of this area because I just killed his father. I love the stories of CK2. <laughs> Work can be tedious and when one problem is solved, another one pops up. I tire of having to complete the same tasks over and over. Uh... I will rest in heaven. So I'm diligent, excellent, diligent for those of you who don't remember. Just gives a plus one to everything. And Vassal Opinion plus five. So diligent is awesome. A destitute normal from a former enemy court asks for permanent hospitality. A soldier named Faraz appears in this court. It, just stay for the night. I got other stuff to keep me occupied. And we're still barely, but we are turning a profit every month. So we got mercenaries for free, basically. That's well, not free, you know, I could be making more money. It's just really good. Oh, come on, come on. I'm just gonna have to go fight him again. I've been, 
Because you see, uh, well, no, actually, because occupation is maxed out at 75. I mean, battles, my battle score is already maxed out at 75. So I need to do this just strictly through occupations. My amorous adventure has resulted in a child. Little Amuz is my in my image. Uh, acknowledge him as mine. He will remain illegitimate, but a sanction is my son. He can be married off to form alliances. If he ever has children, a new dynasty will be created. <sighs> Let's uh, pick him up for alliances. So, congratulations, Amuz. I'm your daddy. No heir of my dynasty. What happened to my uh, What happened to my brother? What happened to Ali? Nothing. Oh, it's because I had a son. I should have denounced him. Crap. Well, we got our backs against the walls now. We surely do. Yo, we gotta get these guys to back off. Back off, back off. Back off! Oh, Jesus. Uh, I hope the penalties don't hurt me too bad. Nope, we got it. And we got a capture, but that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it. Let's come over here so he has to walk by me. Title loss on succession. Yeah, everything. My half brother asked me to spend some quality family time in Al Haur. I'm sure the idea is for me to become better friends with Count Ali of Zahid. So yeah, he wants me to he wants me to be friends with my brother. He likes me a little more. You know what? Let's we're gonna try it. I hope he doesn't poison me. We had a great time together. I feel we have really strengthened our family bonds. Great. That's good. Now I need a baby. Do I want to go to four speed? Yeah. For five speed, I meant. Okay, once this is down, surely it's going to be enough. Victory, that's it. 100%. So, enforcing our demands. We will gain 200 prestige, 400 actually, and we'll get all occupied territory, and then we will take or vassalize all titles of the Kingdom of Persia that belong to Satrap Muhammad. So doing that, uh, yeah, I actually kind of messed up. I should take, or no, because this, well, no, this is part of Persia, is it not? Or it's not part of the Kingdom of Persia. Kingdom of Persia is much smaller. Oh man, I should have. I should have occupied these areas then. That was where their capital was anyway. Say <sighs> lovey. Or the equivalent in Persian. All right, we got some new important decisions available. I've got a huge demise now. So what I'm thinking is, well, we're not gonna be able to, I was gonna make this my capital, but is there anything else, anywhere else that has as many holdings? Over here, Jabil Quffs looks pretty good. And I believe this county is Zoroastrian. So, oh boy, but if I turn now, I it's gonna it's gonna be a hellacious experience. Let's uh, you know, we're gonna I think we're gonna do this. Hmm. Allied order siege cannot get this order unless the county is occupied by the enemy. I'm actually blanking out on how to move my capital. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm so sorry. I am. I genuinely am blanking out. You know, let's just wait a second though, while while I think about that. Um, so we've got negative thirty six piety. Obviously, that's not good. But the good news is, like, I personally own a lot of things. A lot of these are mosques and stuff. So, of course, I don't really care about that. But... Um... A lot of mosques. What do we got here? Diplomatic relations. I need to look at... Go direct vassals. Hmm. So I've got this and this up here. Um. I really wish I had occupied these areas. That was where the capital was anyway. And oh my goodness, what is this? 
the Karen Satrapi. All right, so these guys are coming in hard against what left, what's left of the uh, Taharid. Let's actually take a look at our um, ours here, our army levies. Yeah, we don't have much. They're gonna have to recuperate for a while, so we gotta hope that nobody messes with us. Let's take a look at my court and. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. Why am I blinking out? It's because I don't do this very often. Claimants. Isn't there supposed to be like a little crown symbol or something? Oh, there's measles going on here too. Well, that's not the one I want to switch to. But I could have sworn, yeah. This is my okay, this is my crown focus. So sorry. How do I do this? Claimants du jour. I don't have time for this right now. Okay. Um, we currently have the title of Safarid Chiefdom. We have a duchy here that we can create, which I think I'll do for the prestige. Satrapi of Sistan. And. Let's see, we still have title losses that are going to be... Oh, the Kingdom of Persia, right. So I need 200 piety to create the kingdom as well as 407 coin. Don't have that piety right now. But you know, this is going to be really key, creating the kingdom itself, because then that'll let us go after the, the Dulafid and the Alavids. Uh, and, you know, really start expanding west into some other rich territories here, especially uh, Esfahan. So... I guess we should work on our piety. Let's go, let's observe Ramadan. Let the fast commence. And let's see, we could give Sataqua for my sins. That's something, it's kind of expensive. Uh, let's do that. And what else do I want to do? Why can't I go on Hajj? Why is that not an option? I want to go to Mecca. The Prophet, may Allah honor him and grant him peace, teaches the importance of charity and good deeds, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. There are many poor in Istakhar who could be helped if you but parted with some of your te treasury. You could give alms to the poor. It's not the best ratio for cost to piety, uh, but we'll do that anyway. Now, let's find who's some who are some well-learned people in my court here. Got level nine here. He's a nine. Nine. It's a six. Oh, these are bad. Okay, here's what we'll do. Find characters in court and range them by learning. Here we go. So Morad. This guy has a mosque. Uh, let's try ruler no. Okay, this guy's got 13, that's something right. Uh, and we're just gonna start distributing this stuff. A lot of these are women though. I personally own all this. Should I just invite people to the court? Let's invite a noble. How's this guy look? Oh, that's awful. Not what I asked for. Get another noble. Three. These are terrible, terrible people. Okay, fine. Things are going to get mixed and matched a little bit. I just I really don't like to mess with the micromanaging of the titles too much, and I sure don't want to ask help with uh, managing them either. So let's just come back here, find characters, rulers, uh, characters, any... All right. Uh, gender, men... This guy's got two marzipanates. Got our spy master here. He's got one. You. These really suck. Puts me down to seven already. 
This guy's lowborn. I'm gonna raise him up. Little satrapy. No, definitely don't want to do that. He's stuck here. Two more to go. No. Here we go. Asan, Asan. Oh, he's dead. Oops. And we have a two-year-old child here. Oh, this is my bastard. Uh, let's do something with him then. There we go. A little bit better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to try to remember how to uh, turn this into the uh, the capital. I'm so sorry, guys, that I don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, besides that, we're going to try to get our piety up. The money's coming in naturally anyway. And uh, let's see. We've got more piety. And uh, we'll try to create the kingdom of Persia so then we can go after the Dulafid and the Alavid. Though maybe I could try to go after... I should go after the Abbasids now, though they are at war with the Alavid. They're attacking the Alavid, I mean, so they could be a little bit distracted, but they are still decently strong. What kind of packs do they have? A lot of non-aggression packs. Yeah, obviously the Abbasids are the big bad boys on the block, although we have to watch out for the Salmonids and the Karens over here. I don't think I'm going to be getting into it directly with the, uh, uh, the Pratihara Kingdom, because if I double check the borders here, yeah, they stop just a bit short of it. Uh, which, you know, it could get tricky with the Indus here, so I don't want to deal with that too much. But all in all, a very good start, and let's not... Yeah, these are all going to be... All these claims are going to be inherited by my successor, the ones I have here, such as, like, uh, the, the, the Shahi Satrap up here. So we can kind of wait on that. But thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.